I've been doing some projects today and I usually like to use the solder in a tube because your hands don't come in contact with the, the, the uh, toxic lead. Your, the oil from your hands doesn't get on the solder as you're soldering like it does if you're holding a uh, big roll of solder. And in between uses, the oxygen, there's not as much oxygen in contact. You know, the air's not moving around because there's just that little tiny hole in the top. And so I've found that the uh, solder keeps longer, doesn't oxidize as much. So, um, yeah, the problem is that the stuff that comes in the tube, it's a real marketing thing, and they charge about three to five times more. So let's uh, see how we can take our own bulk solder and roll it up, put it in here, and uh, save us some money. So the first thing is we have to have one of these tubes, which means we probably had to go out and buy the expensive solder the first time around. And we've used it all up now. So we go out and we buy the same thing uh, in the uh, bulk solder. This is uh, 0.8 millimeters. This was 0.8 millimeters and it's the same tin lead. It's exactly the same solder. So uh, then we have to get this and coil it up and put it inside this tube. So step two is to remove this top. And you kind of do that any way you can. I don't know if this pop off of here. Yes, it pops off of here. Okay. Uh, the next step is to find something like this. That's uh, about this long and is about the same size as the coil that was originally in there. And this just happens to be that. This is just a uh, pen. And then we're going to wrap solder neatly around here. And uh, I doubt I'll be able to do this on camera. I usually can't. I usually fumble it. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap it around here and we'll insert it in there. And that's pretty much it. So what I've done off camera is wrap the, my tube or whatever you're using with the uh, solder, in this case this pen, and then I snip the lead off of the bulk solder. When you do this, you want to make sure you smash this close so the flux doesn't leak out and also do this end uh, because while this tube is sitting around, it's going to be leaking flux if you don't. So smash the end of that closed. Then all we do is we slip our solder in there. Let's see if it'll come off of here nicely. Yeah, okay. Slip it off of there. Uh, take our top piece, feed it through the little cone. Snap this back in place like that. And if it requires a little duct tape, okay. Uh, you can see I've done that before. And uh, that's pretty much it. I will take my bulk solder and I will wrap it with a plastic kitchen wrap and store that someplace uh, where it will uh, be good uh, until next time. And otherwise, uh, yeah, I've uh, just saved myself three to five X in uh, buying this uh, tube solder but I still got all the convenience of it. Okay, well I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electronics and soldering projects.